Okay, guys, I have some urgent news. Monarch Legacy of Monsters sucks. This show had a great premise. It was really exciting, the idea of seeing more Godzilla. I was kind of unsure what was going to happen with the franchise after Godzilla vs. Kong. And then the merger, I when I heard that Legendary was leaving Warner Brothers, I was like, okay, so is this franchise done? So when they announced that they were doing a series on Apple TV and that they were going to make a new movie, I was very excited. But um, so far, this show just is continuing to have the problem that the movies had and where the human characters are just not that interesting. And without Godzilla, this show is just falling apart. And yeah, he's finally showing up in this newest episode, but... I don't know. I think my expectations for the show and my excitement for the show have already waned enough to the point where I'm having more fun playing Wordle in the morning than I am watching the show. And that's not a good thing. And it's kind of disappointing because the show had a lot of potential. Visually, the show looks great. There is no disappointment there. They did not skimp out. The special effects are fantastic. The shots are great. Everything looks fantastic. It's just that when you get into the story that things start falling apart, and particularly the current modern day story, this trio of actors, they're just not that interesting. I don't really enjoy watching them. I would say Kiersey Clemens is probably the best actor out of the new actors, and even her character is starting to wear thin on me. I'm just not really believing any of their drama. I'm not really getting into their their difficulties i just I, it's hard to care about these characters the kentaro and the main his sister you know half sister or whatever she is um those two i are, are just not very good i find those characters to be spoiled brats their drama is not that interesting i just feel like when i'm watching this show i feel like i'm reading a script or like I'm being pitched an idea and I, I feel like they're trying to tell me particularly a story or they're trying to get into my head. They're trying to write to me and it feels like I'm being written to and it's falling flat for me because I don't know if they're doing exactly what they want. I think there's something holding the writers of the show back. They're being held back by something and it shows big time. Now I will say the past storyline has actually been pretty entertaining. Mari Yamamoto, Anders Holm, and Wyatt Russell are all very excellent actors. They do very good in the show. Wyatt Russell is actually doing a better job playing a young Kurt Russell than Kurt Russell is doing in the modern day storyline. Uh, I guess that's kind of weird, so take that as you like it. Um, but yeah, these actors are really good. Mari, in particular, I find to be very fascinating. There's something very interesting about her character. I'm looking forward to seeing more of her, if anything. You know, maybe more than Godzilla. But, you know, I think we already know, you know, this show is probably going to be not remember not remembered for the um the human characters it's going to be remembered for the little bits of glimpses that we see of godzilla i'm assuming there might be a big battle coming up that's going to be probably this show's saving grace is just a big battle of godzilla at the end of the day that's all most of us are really caring about um this show is definitely not godzilla minus one godzilla minus one managed to make you care about the human characters and it actually made me so excited to see the human characters that when godzilla showed up i was like oh god this guy is ruining things he's messing shit up again but with this show i'm like where's godzilla where's the monsters i i don't want to hear these snotty little kids talking about their problems the dad drama monarch as an organization doesn't seem that interesting to me i'm like okay this is no specter this is no illuminati i don't think they're interesting enough to warrant an entire show to definitely dive into him the fact that they're making this show all about monarch kind of concerns me like are they going ahead first into this monarch thing? Are we going to just be hearing more monarch stuff in the movies? Because they're not that interesting. So I hope that's not what they're going to be doing in the upcoming movie. I'm actually hoping this show doesn't tie too much into Godzilla X-Kong because it's kind of drawing down my expectations and my excitement for that movie. But I will say that movie's trailer also kind of detracted some of my expectations and excitement because as soon as I saw the pink Godzilla, I was like, what, 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 just... Just what? Just what's going on? And then the final shot of Godzilla and Kong running in a battle, like they're the Avengers. That scene had me shaking my head. I was like, um, why, 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 why? Why is Godzilla's arms swinging like that? What is this cheesiness? So I don't know if I'm even excited to watch that movie, but I don't know. This show certainly isn't helping. I think the show is definitely falling on its face and I'm going to keep watching it because I want to see, you know, how it ends. But um, 
so far, I think it's just not that interesting. So those are my thoughts. What do you guys think? Are you guys liking it more? Um, I mean, because definitely we're all different. We all have different opinions. So I'm really interested to see, you know, what are people liking about the show? What are people disliking? Go ahead and put that stuff in the comments. If you think this video is pretty interesting, go ahead and like it. And if you want to see more things like this, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. That would be the right thing to do and the better thing to do for me and for you. So please do that. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.